keep moving soon. Why what? I mean, because he wants to be, right? He's not getting kicked out, I think. I think. All right, so we need to make a station for uh, coating the balls of the rice and flour, and then egg, then breadcrumbs. Watch the video linked with us. It's important. I need your opinions. Luker is gonna be a doctor. I trust him. Where, where's the uh, link? Link with us? Okay, what, what is this? Oh no, it's K! Hold on! Hold on. It's K! It's K's cooking. Let me just finish the dishes really quick. And I'll go potty, and then we can watch K. Okay? We'll watch Kay's cooking, the finest of all the cooking classes in the world. Only the finest. Alright. I'll get this soaking. I gotta pee. And then we can come back and watch it. Because I'm full of liquids. I might have gone hard on the coffee this morning because I wasn't feeling good. Alright. By the way, if you guys want to play anything, um, you know... This weekend, let me know. I didn't really play much. Um, I gotta go pee. I'm gonna go on a five minute break. I'm gonna run to the bath, or less, less than five, but but enjoy the break. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta, I gotta pee. The best ever. I'm gonna show you my butthole because. Bah. I have a mic. It's right here. Coffee to it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Tilly? I got some good old coffee here for you. Look at that cat. She's standing in front of her bowls. That. That's she's upset. Oh, no. baby. That's where she's gonna sit. Tonight. No, she's gonna sit yeah. there until we feed her. We're playing for Thursday. Thursday is gonna be a normal day. We're gonna play GTA 3 to begin the day, and then we're gonna have five. Since since the Game Awards are start at 8.30, we're gonna make a whole bunch of appetizers. God damn it, Gary, you're making me feel bad. I'm a bad person now. She's licking crumbs off the floor. Damn it. Damn it, Gary, you're gonna shame me into feeding the cat. Hold on. You can feed the cat too, Gary. Oh hey guys, we're back. Uh, Bear has something special. Also, look at that freaking smug little little bitch. She's she's so cute. She's so freaking adorable. That's a good cat. This is Miss Antalya, and she's the cutest cat in the world. But uh, Bear has sent us special fried rice. It's a ten minute video, so we have a little bit of downtime. Would you guys like to watch Kay's special fried rice? Would you chat? Cause maybe we should. I think we should. Yes, please. Hey, hey, Gary. Uh, is that loud on, on on daytime Twitch? I mean, some people say it doesn't. This is not allowed. All right. Uh, we're, we're gonna just load this up really quick. Set up my window capture. All right. Special fried rice. Let's mute that. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna keep the player thing on the... I don't know, wh whatever. Whatever. Alright, so let's, uh... Hello, people! <laughs> Alright, so we might have just the audio levels. Alright. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking. And today, I'm going to be doing... Yay! Special fried rice. I put some oil in. It says two tables. It's so smoking. You know, got You're gonna set this goddamn stone. house on fire. So I'm just, I've put uh, three in just to. 
compensate for it. And now I'm going to chop some garlic up because it says it got to be really hot and really hot. It's really hot to me. It's so real I'm going hot. To put garlic in it. Right now I'm going to chop the garlic up. Watch out for your fingers. Fingers going in there. Yeah, mine. your fingers are going in there. <laughs> Careful, that's, you're fried supposed fried to claw grip fries. it. <laughs> it's scary. I should have got that other knife. This isn't as sharp as this one. Do you know this lady cake? Oh. <laughs> Take them to my friend and get them all sharpened. But there's, uh, it's probably like a ceramic knife. I, I remember I had one of these. They don't really sharpen. Spoiler. I just gotta get a new... Look at your fingers! There's cuts all over them! They're probably not even doing it now. Oh, no. This is what you don't do to cut your garlic. I mean, the, the well, ceramic knives are fine it as, as, until they don't... Cut it, oh, it with the back of the knife or something uh, to do the oh, garlic, no. but... Uh, well, I don't think, I mean, I, that's I, a I lot of fucking garlic. squash it, but um, I don't know. Kismet, no, stop it. it. This way. So to everyone who's told me to crush it with the back of my knife, I just want to say thank you. Crush it with the knife, it's uh, easier. I probably haven't got enough strength anyway to do it with the back of the knife, but thank you for the people who have said it, but um, I'll, I'll carry on doing it this way if it's all right with you, because obviously I want to... Well, I don't want to put myself in a lot of pain, do I? So, that is... Now, that is... Yeah, like, get out one of these. These garlic presses, they work great. And, like, I don't I don't usually chop garlic unless I need to slice it. No. It's going to be such a, a big roll of thunder. Yeah. Squeeze, here, squirt. The pan is so hot. She's on into it. I have left it. Yes, I have left it on. Oh dear. Her hands should be so sticky. <gasps> no, you're gonna what burn you it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why is she laughing? I'm scared. As you can see, it's very hot. Oh my god! The garlic has now turned It's down. charcoal! It's fucking charcoal! And now after She's rice. putting the raw rice! No! She put the rice! I mean, you can actually do this. Uh, by the way, it's not its not that unusual to... You can actually do this. You can, you can put rice and, and oil and saute it. Right, you and you can actually do this. Right, it's it's not right. crazy. She's Salt. like almost there, but you gotta add water and keep cooking it. Pepper. But you know, there was an attempt. Um, it says keep stirring it all the time. But what she turned off her heat. Some eggs, um, because it's looking a bit too dry. I don't know, Nucky. I'm not sure. So I'm, gonna crack some I'm eggs. not sure. I'm not sure. Beat she up. eats it. She makes her family eat this. I mean, it's just like, oh god, what did you do? What? What? Who hurt you? I this egg's the next one. I can't. Uh, to make you want to burn uh, garlic that bad? No, that's been done for about five minutes. <sighs> Beat egg together. Add ham. Ham. Chicken. Mm. And peas. Right. Right, it says. Look! They lost, <laughs> they lost the whole point as well. I mean, she's having it's fun. Sick. I don't think that's right, though, somehow. It says I've got to put the chicken in with the egg. That can't be right, can it? Then it says I add the ham to the egg as well. That's not right, is it? 
She's apparently really racist. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm just doing as it says. If it's wrong, I'm doing it wrong. If it's right, I'm doing it it's right. It's real wrong, lady. I mean, you can, oh. Oh you can do this. I know. Now I'm at first. I know. So what I'm going to do is, they're all mixed in now. I'm going to put the... It's so all gone it. wrong. No! I mean, she could have added broth to the rice and the garlic, and if she added onion, you know, it, it could have worked. Um, when they mix it all is that together. cheese? Wait, is that cheese? Or is it? I is it chicken? I think I'm going to need more. The garlic has now turned black. Yeah, I've noticed. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, I don't know why. Why? We can have been fine. We got peas and I posted I pictures. Why is she making peas? Oh, God. And they're having a chance to cool down. Does this look like special fried rice to you? No, it. Well, I guess it's not so like I'm on normal peas, peas you put in fried rice. It's like giant peas. There's not much water in them peas, but I'm going to add it because... No! I no! I need to get more juice in Stop it! Stop it! I think you're looking a lot better now. I said hi, Dust. Right, as you can see, um, I've been cooking it on a low heat because I'm having an aneurysm right now, and I'm, I'm not having a good. As you can see, I'm not having a good time. Um, well, I've been stirring it continually, which it's said to, so don't stop when you continually leave it cooking. Um. So yes, hopefully it should be done. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Specials. Oh, Specials are worse. It looks apart from the ham. There's a bit more ham in there in there than what there is in mine, but it doesn't really matter. So now I'm gonna turn the heat down and off. And the oven off. And I'm gonna dish Look at the burnt there. ass spoon like <laughs> This is the end product of special fried rice. Right, Lee's going to do the taste test. Your, Your poor son. Control, no, don't eat it. No. Don't eat it. Say no. Mm. He's crunching. I hear him crunching. What? Is it edible? You can't taste the garlic. Yeah. Well, but you can, but very. You can't taste the garlic. Yeah. Because it's it's not garlic yeah, anymore. Yeah, well, it's not garlic. garlic. Yeah. yeah. Um. The well, the ham, and the chicken roll or whatever it's called is like cooked chicken and cooked ham. That's yeah, what it says so to put cooked in. Yeah, chicken and cooked ham. Nice. That's all I can say. The yeah, the only good part of it, you can pick out the ham and the chicken. Mm. It's okay, I guess. So, yeah, nice thumbs up. Oh, God. Good. Back to me. Don't. Right, I hope I gave you a rough idea on how to do. Oh, God, a little rough idea. That's what I'm looking forward to doing because I thought it's going to turn up the wrong way. So, yeah, if you like what you're doing, if you like what you're doing. Yeah, if you like what you're doing, just keep doing it now. Just keep doing it. If you like it. what you see, please keep, oh God. keep, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old no. thumbs up, then much appreciate it. Stop this if scary, no special fried rice week. You want me to do something, no. like I've told you, you know what Lee can have, you know what I can have. So stop asking for things that we can't have. Um, but if you want, and if you want to subscribe or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, Please get them to subscribe and subscribe. Look, subscribe to, to Come subscribers. On, let's get me up to twenty thousand. Oh, I forgot the end 
Because <laughs> uh, it's funny, Luker. Oh no. Ah! Uh, whew. Um, hey, guys, uh, how, how did you feel after? Look at that cute cat, the judge and Miss Antalia. Uh huh. By the way, the new tag system sucks ass. And it's offensive to, like, sucking ass, I think. It's worse than that. You want to do the, the one L Italian? Um. Hey, Mickey, you missed a great video. You know what I think? <sighs> you missed a you know what I think, great video. This is Antalya, and she's the cutest baby. No, stop. What? What, Gary? What do you want? Have you snacked? Not yet. Oh, my boy. He's got his Where? tail sticking out. Oh, you want to see my cute boy? He's very cute. Um, this is my boy Haku. Look at my boy. Oh my god, why do you tighten it so much? I don't tighten it this much. It doesn't need to be. Mm, look at that cute cat. Look at that cute little baby. Oh, he's sleeping. This is a current haiku report. We're gonna spin that wheel and see what we get. Um, I don't know if the the he sleep. He very cute. Um, he doesn't care about anything that's going on. He was not affected by that video whatsoever. Um, <laughs> he does not care at the moment. That is all right. So let's put us back to where we need to go. And there's a beep. Beep, 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 and that should be about where it should be. <sighs> Maybe I should burn garlic like that? You think that would be, uh... I need to rub the fact that I had apple-filled pancakes sprinkled with cinnamon sugar and a custard dip. Oh, heck yeah, buddy. Gary, we should... Gary, do you want to recreate a K recipe? You don't want to do that. You wouldn't even... I don't think you are a big enough troll to even do that. Uh, I don't think you can handle it. Alright, so... Oh god, it's still too far up. Eh, whatever. Um, we're gonna spin the wheels next. What do we have? Uh, oh, actually, did I forget to add it? I think it did. Uh, so we got two new snacks. Oh yeah, we, we have a boba brown sugar tea. And popping, co cooking ramen. Let's go uh, over here, because uh, I love those popping cooking sets. They're cute. All right, let's go to the rivulet wheel snacks and spin that wheel. Maybe it's uh, super cool. I still have them. We have a boba brown sugar. Eat. All right, so. Get your snack. It's technically a snack because you have to chew it, right? Uh, <laughs> um, it's called O's Bubble. Uh, gummy boba latte. Extra rich taste and flavor. 22% milk. Shake your drink and share your happiness. Hold on. Um, I want to show you guys what, what they're doing on this. You remember that, that clip earlier with the shaking? It looked like kind of something similar um share your happiness with the shake 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 and then you uh you know you can use a spoon you can use a cup um brown sugar flavors with real gummy boba inside um with konjac uh water starch pearls sugar milk powder brown sugar creamer uh made with nothing that resembles milk uh, maltodextrin, black tea, flavor, glycerin, fatty acid, ester, cardine, caramel, sodium bicarbonate, salt, sweetener. Uh, best before, uh, 2024, so, so we're good. Shake it. Shake it. I'm gonna set dinner for tomorrow, but I'm putting in the slow cooker. Shake it. You gotta shake it up. Alright. And also, by the way, we have wasted 30 minutes. Uh, we can start to form the balls. 
I can't wait. Also, I gotta, I gotta put the music back up. It's a little low. Um... I could use that fancy wine glass, my wine goblet, and drink my boba in. <laughs> uh, or I could try to find- actually, wait, hold on. I gotta, like, a- I gotta clean that glass. Um... Her, she's so cute! It's a little sleepy, a little low, too. I mean, it's a little low. Very quiet. Don't worry. It's better. Um, so anyway, it happens. There's like a lull period in that, that track. Aw, oh, she's a little baby. Um, she's a little baby. Alright, so I'm gonna get over here to the counter can. And uh, this is the risotto that we're cooling. Uh, we gotta put the plastic wrap so it doesn't get all the uh, skin on the outside, but we have the bubba. Oh, it's bubble. Uh, we're gonna open it up and see. Uh, I think they have straws. Oh. Oh no! How am I supposed to get the bubble through that? Mm -hmm. There we go. Um. All right. So let's uh, pour them in. All right. See uh, how bubbly it be bubbling. Oh, the bubbles are coming. This looks like one of those like. Oh god. Soups. Oh, barely, barely enough. Got two hours of sleep. I don't have boba um, straw though. Bubble coffee. It's more like a boba. Oh, get that bubbles out. There's still some on the bottom. I got them all out. Cut the can open. I could. Um. But yeah, like, uh. I can't. I can't. Do I, I need a, a straw. I can't move that. It's too full. Um. I don't have a boba straw, though, but. These look. This, this straw looks too small for the bubbles to get through. I'm pretty sure I'll choke to death on a boba. Pretty good. Uh, it's got a good, like a uh, milky tea flavor down pat. You can tell it's not real milk, which is fine. It's fair. Actually, yeah, you can soak. Uh, you can suck up the, the bubbles. Um, so yeah, seems to work. You can kind of see the bubbles at the bottom. Um, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, boba. Yo, if you haven't gotten boba, I, um, there's one Chinese, uh, grocery store they go to, they have boba, kind of like, drink place, and it's fucking great. They have, like, uh, fresh strawberries and freeze-dried strawberries with, like, a uh, whipped cream added in it, swirling, like, a strawberry syrup. It was good. Alright, let me just, uh, clean this off. Alright. So you need three cups of oil? <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't do K recipe, please. Please, no. Kismet, no, stop, stop. Um, so we need to do, oh no. Uh, we need to get the dredging stations ready. Um, so I'm not gonna, <sighs> don't do it. Don't even think about it. We're gonna get flour in one bowl. We're gonna get uh, egg in another bowl. And we're gonna grind down some uh, pinkle breadcrumbs to make a slightly um, smaller, smaller green texture. Also, there's water. Ah, uh, see, bread. We got here rosemary um, loaf of a bowl. Um, I didn't have much. We're gonna take half of this loaf, I think. And we're gonna cut into big chunks and we're gonna toast them, uh, dry them in the oven, and then toast them on a uh, pan to make a nice little uh, 
Um, Panzanella salad, which is great. Burp. I don't usually get good bread. Uh, most times I don't have good bread. So I was lucky. They had barely anything left. Uh, I'm gonna clean one of these bowls. But yeah, I don't usually make like loaves of bread because it just takes too long. It takes too long. Okay. Usually by the end of the stream I have a loaf of bread, but sometimes we need that loaf of bread to do other stuff for the rest of it. Um, what's the best thing pirates can grill? accept it. I accept it. Where's my towel? Scary, you stole my paper towels, you son of a bitch. I have to get more paper towels. Hold on. What are you doing? What are you working on? You need all the paper towels. You stole it. Why does it smell like poo in here? Why does it smell like poop in here? Where does that poop smell come from? Gary! Why does this poop? Like it! Uh, is someone poop in here? The smell drifted from the litter box in here? I don't know, man. Oh my god. Why does it smell like poop? So anyway, um, we're gonna dry out these uh, bowls here. You get them ready. It's really. Is it on your shoe? No, I'm not ready from wearing any shoes. It's in the. It's in the. It's in the actual closet. It smells like poo. Um. It's, the closet smells like poop. I walked in there and like, poof, and it's blasted. Blast in the face. Can't hide. Nothing you can do. Um. Oh yeah, and we actually remembered to change the uh, menu today. Sweet. All right. So anyway, what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do. Um, we do some dishes a little, little later, but we're gonna get this together first. We're gonna get the flour in one bowl. We're gonna get the um, panko. We're, we're gonna crush it with a uh, mortar and kind of get it a little bit smaller. Uh, we need half a cup of all-purpose. Maybe Gary farted in there. I don't know, man. Why, why did he steal my, my, uh, my paper towels? Maybe coincidence that, that he did something. He needed the paper towels for something. I, I don't know, man. I don't want to find out. Um. We're going to make the dredge. Um, it's really simple. Season with all, everything with salt and pepper a little bit. Um. Put it aside. The risotto should be ready to form its balls at about, I don't know, 3 o'clock-ish, aka in about like, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, um, it kind of depends, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, do you get the flour in here? You don't have to be too exact with it, we're just, we're just gonna get a, a general guide. Make sure we have enough. I'm back. I'm scheduled like all my medical appointments today because I have ADHD. I already forgot to use this day. Oh, you had like today off and you totally forgot. I was like, oh, this was a day I was supposed to make a bunch of phone calls and shit. And yeah. <laughs> shit. Um. Alright, so instead of bringing over my uh, food processor. I have the second best thing. Are you seeing three dessert spoons make up for no two normal size spoons? No. Hey Cam, welcome back. Um, 
by some miracle. Yeah, Gary, when are you gonna make your your doctor's appointments, Gary? Mm-hmm. When are you going to the doctor, buddy? All right, so we need two cups of panko. This is half cup measuring cups. So we're gonna just make four of these because I don't like to get out so many goddamn bowls and cups and shit. Oh, I was spilling a little bit. It's okay, though. I'm gonna make this a little bit finer. A little bit. I'm gonna make those cheesecakes pops. Nice! I I miss playing Rocksmith. I really do. I like that game. Um, I haven't played it in a while. How about we make a date to make those cheesecake pops? Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna crush these a little bit so they're a little finer. Yeah, I, I probably should make appointments too. I don't know if I want to keep going to my uh, doctor they originally went to, but yeah, my my gynecologist oh, doesn't exist anymore. And I can go to my my surgeon gynecologist, and they seem okay. They don't seem like a bunch of assholes, so I'm standing with them. I'm alright with them. I'll say. All right, so we're just crushing this up a little bit, so it's a little bit finer. You don't have to be like super. These panko breadcrumbs are not as as chunky as. as so maybe it's fine. Don't put it in there. Well, yeah. Yeah, they look fine. And then we need to do last minute blood test. When I said I did the blood work, then my doctor gives me the guilt stares like, no, you didn't. I know you didn't, buddy. You're full of shit. Uh, we're gonna do two eggs. I don't know if we'll need two eggs worth of eggs, but we'll see. Um, I'll find out, I guess. Gotta get the ideas over here. Let's scooch that. You say I shouldn't have kids because I might bring the apocalypse. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel like I got a other cyst brewing, but I don't know. Let's see. I feel like there's something for sure. So I'm just gonna use this as like a put put some stuff out of the way. Um. All right. So we have one egg. Two egg. And as soon as we get everything done, and I gotta wipe down this counter. We're gonna make the salad, the panzanella salad. I'm gonna take that chunk of bread and cut about half of it. Big chunks. Yeah. I'm hoping it's not another, another cyst, cause fuck it. I basically, my doctor's like, yo, you probably get more. <laughs> you got like, what is it, stage four endometriosis? That it, it's basically everywhere. They try. They they uh, did an attempt to like take out any weird looking stuff, and they, they did biopsies, and everything seemed to check out. I found like I got some some cool cells where they shouldn't be, but that's all right, I guess. It wasn't anything bad. Um. Ugh. Stage four cleaners. Yeah, it's got some some cleanliness. Um. Yeah, I just I just want to look get checked out first an actual problem. I would I mean if I gotta have surgery again I gotta get surgery again but it won't be as bad though. It took a lot of tissue. I was really bloating up. I was swollen I think very uncomfortable. There's less stuff that they need to do. Um I put a request to get your vasectomy no more kids for odious. <laughs> Working on Lego? Oh, hey, Dust. Um, hope, it, uh, hope your weekend went alright. Um, scramble, 
eggs. Get this ready. This is gonna be for the the uh, dredging. Then later, it will be flour, then egg wash, then breadcrumbs. He's like, I got four. That's enough, right? Yeah. You're all right. Um, we're gonna add some salt and pepper to everything just for flavor, and we need to chop up about three ounces. Oh, I'm all right. The package is about a pound. So I'll have to weigh it out just to make sure I don't have too much because I don't want to make too much cheese and not eat the rest, okay? It's just that's wrong, man. If I make too much cheese and I can't even stuff it, it's all contaminated and then it's just like, oh. And salt, little pepper and everything. Everything has like salt and pepper in it, so don't stress too much. Don't worry. Uh, and the taste of the risotto, it looks fine. Alright, so. Let me get all this other stuff out of the way. Let me. Oh, I forgot. I, I was gonna like use the old panko. I'm just gonna put it in one container. Call it. Call it. Because I never. I. I yeah, it's, it's not really a lot in these. these uh, Breadcrumb container. Alright, so that's good. We're gonna clean off the counter. This is ready to go mostly. Uh, we're gonna give everything a like, quick swirl around before we, uh, you know, dredge the, the rice and everything. But for now, it's good. We're gonna get out the mozzarella and get that ready too. And then we need to clean up a little bit so we can make the salad. It's nice and deep. clean. Yeah, dude, um, yeah, I'm not, uh, it's like cells that, that grow anywhere if, if they're told to, like, they're told to, basically. <laughs> I mean, that could be really beneficial, right? I would assume. Could be. Eventually. Um, if you want cells for, you know, regrow skin, regrow, like, you know, blood supplies and shit, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically like, kind of like a stem cell, sort of. Also, um, maybe it's now spice. Okay. Turn it down much. Um, but yeah, like, uh, they, like, it's, they don't even really know for sure why it happens. Like why why endometriosis happens? Why why is some it's like some cells inside the uterus kind of escape and they just kind of grow by themselves? But why? They don't know, really. They don't really know. And it affects a lot of freaking women. Have, freaking have all these problems and it's like oh don't you care about people with a goddamn uterus having a bad time and being really painful i remember like my doctor's like yeah it's just normal to have pain during your period um it's like yeah even that research was pretty bad too like you can technically, like, with the ovarian cysts and stuff, and and all that, like, you can die if if you do basically ignore it. Like, you're not gonna like instantly die or anything, but like, if it, if it breaks and then you don't do anything about the pain, you just ignore it. You can bleed out. Like that, that blood goes in your insides, and it's a bad time. Probably get infected too. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's just, I don't understand. Gotta take care of that. Uh, let me do some dishes. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I can still chat with you guys though, don't worry. I'm gonna load you up on my phone so I can read. Cause it's really hard for me to read from that far away. Um. Is anybody also a, a streamer and you also have a dashboard that you have to open up the creator mode and then scroll through and... Hmm. 
Now I'm not texting Cleanie, don't worry. I just open you up. Oh my gosh. I wish I can like just in big in the chat. Just have a chat there. Prop it up somewhere. Um Yeah, it's just like, you know. What if they discover that, like, the, the, the research that possibly with endometriosis could, like, be extremely beneficial? You guys are just dicks. Which dicks? Yeah, you can kind of collapse the top section. Yeah, I use the mobile app for chat. Um, could, I don't know, do they have mobile app for chatty? I don't know if that works. Yeah, I'm watching you guys on mobile so I can, I can read. Uh, I'm gonna have to be able to read. Um, yeah, it's so sad, man. ton of dishes actually but yeah I need I, don't know, I might use the the wok to fry the arrosini I think that that would be the best way to do it move surface area to fry them up you don't need a lot of oil you just need enough so they float around and maybe I could do more at the same time maybe. all right so after we're done cleaning up all this stuff sipping on my boba One day that they, they supposedly are gonna get rid of the IRC. So chatting all that shit will break. And a lot of bots will break. Um I'm still waiting for the day that eventually like Streamlabs chat bots just gonna fucking fall over on itself because they haven't updated in like I don't even know when. <laughs> I don't even know if it actually supports all this shit anymore, like half the things in there. Time to be stretching and being active. Alright. I gotta you gotta get this oh, oh my back. Dude, my back has been freaking oh. Yeah, imagine uh if Twitch eventually moves buys discord turns discord into twitch <laughs> um man i will say that the uh hank is very much a human being yeah gilded seems to be trying a uh, minimally trying to be like Discord in a way that's positive. I do have a gilded account, but it's only because I didn't want anybody to like take my username. Um, I made an account um, just show uh, you know nobody takes it. But yeah, I don't know. I I mean I have a hard enough time as long as as long as Discord does no evil doesn't like actually like you gotta be careful if you're on slightly uh s sketchy discords it's not good to stick around places like that yeah guild is kind of like an alternate version of discord but it's, it's like uh discord's kind of like taking some of their good ideas like oh, i can't wait honestly uh, they have the that event section. I would love to have a calendar By the way, I uh, posted my Schedule for all that I know it yet uh, for uh, Vacation time just so you get you guys know we are taking a break from the 6th or the at minimally the 15th 
maybe I'll be back on the day I come back, but I don't know. I can't guarantee that because I'm uh, we're taking Red Eye back and we gotta get the cats back and there will be no food. And I don't know. I I would I if I might just stop on by and say hi and just chat and go get some pizza and and hang out. That would be okay. I wouldn't like expect a good uh, stream or anything. Um. Or just hang out in Discord. That's cool too. Because, you know, it does the same thing. Let's turn the phone call when you order the beats. <laughs> I am too lazy to order pizza on the phone. <laughs> I'm too lazy. I, uh, my chat and I would like an extra large sausage pizza. Man, that pizza place that we went this weekend was really good. I, I need more uh, Peruvian chicken pizza in my life. I've learned. I have learned that it's delicious and I want to eat more of it. I need to make my own. Hey, Azufa, welcome. How you doing? I mean, maybe Cam calls for pizza. Most places over here have a, like a website. You can just order it. I call for a sausage pizza. <laughs> um, dong scarab. It's kind of neat. You got a little buddy. You got a new friend. He wants to hang out with you, Fadric. Imagine, I agree. I know some people that might be dumb enough that uh, might say their phone and or credit card number out loud on the internet. Yeah, I can see it. I know some of them. We got a joke time from Simon. Okay. We got one more dish. Uh, keep that over there. I think we're almost done. A little bit, it got a little wet, so all the uh, oil kind of kind of went away. All right, that's fine. All right, so here's a joke from the joke book. Are you ready, kids? I know you're not. All right, so we have a joke from the joke book. What'd you get when you cross? And tortillas. Cow chips. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um the middle of the chip the cow chips, it's a cow poop. Um, but it's it's a tortilla. It's a chip. I swear it makes sense. Hey, Luger. What? It was truly and utterly <laughs> terrible. Nah, I've heard worse. I've heard. Almost done here. Get some cleanup. I got a lot of bowls. We use a lot of bowls today. All right. So after we're done with this, uh, we gotta go and uh, make the salad. We gotta toast up the bread a little bit in the oven so it dries out a little bit. And we're gonna cut the cheese. <laughs> and then. is um, start to assemble the arosini. I think we can in a moment. I said at three, should be good. Should be cool enough. Uh, form the uh, 
arancini to, to kind of like a patty, honestly. Hit, hit, cut the cheese. It's been a long time since I've heard that, right? It's like, that's, that's when I was in like elementary school, cutting the cheese. Ha! <laughs> that's good shit. Um. Move on. Let's fade behind this. I mean. Also, apparently, new Star Ocean game, not this one. This one's bad. You shouldn't play this one. But a new Star Ocean game coming out? I hope it's okay, I guess. Um, I'm hoping that they don't fuck it up. It looks really bad. I was half tempted to stream it. Maybe? Just to, like, really fully embrace how bad a game could be. Uh, um, it does look like it's limited to 30 FPS on the Switch, and I'm like, hmm. You always just buy it and then emulate it on my any PC. Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> um. Where's Gary with his damn sus? Where's Gary? He's probably on the phone. If I. Uh, don't ever ask that question. Whenever you ask, where's Gary? He's on the phone. It's probably a given. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna fry up the Arsini in the wok. I think I think that would be the best way to do it. Gosh. Um, more, more surface area. We don't need a ton of oil. Um, should be okay. I think it's like six cups of oil total. For the, uh, the recipe. Yeah, I'm using soap. Use soap. Use clean your cast iron. Fuck, man. Just use soap. Unless you're using literally lye, you'll be alright. Okay. This guy, he does have a punchable. Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> What? I can't suck my helper. I want to. Tilly, you playing Kirby. Okay. I mean, maybe that happened. I don't remember which Kirby that was. Alright. Heat this up until it's nice and... Lighting. That's some lights, cause you're fine. All right, so the the risotto can wait for a little bit longer. It's okay to set out on the counter for for a bit. Um, could put it in the fridge now. It's probably not warm. I want it to be cold. Or actually, we could put it in the freezer for a little bit. Probably. Probably be okay? Question mark. Uh, let's see if it. Yeah, I can fit it. Woo! Alright. So we'll make sure it's nice and cold. We'll make the panzanella salad. Um, we're gonna have some downtime anyway because we gotta wait for the oil to get hot. The, the dredge ingredients are ready. We're good to go. Um, let me see what all we gotta do here. And also, I think I got my buttons back in where the button should be. All right, so we got tomatoes, we got salt, we got uh, bread. Oh, bread. We're gonna need some uh, olive oil, some shallot, garlic, Dijon mustard, white wine vinegar, or red wine vinegar. Pepper, oh yeah, I forgot about the basil. Mm -mm. Um, probably don't have time for another, another K video. We gonna be working soon. Um, probably don't have enough time for that. So, clean some tomatoes. We can slice them up. We're gonna we're gonna keep it uh, separate from the cherry garlic chili. Oh God, no! 
No, I will refuse. I will actually. Was this one called for? Oh, this is for the big tomatoes. Wrong recipe. Wrong recipe. We're gonna use this big boy. Overheat. And uh, thank God we don't got smell o vision, cause uh, who boy, who? Tilford be on on fire. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this big ass tomato. We're gonna get a bowl out that probably I cleaned earlier. We're gonna have this recipe, or or even less than half. <coughs> Jesus! All right. Anyway, um, it's starting to get a little smoky. Yeah, all that cheese cutting. Oil up the pan. Brush it around. Whew. I got the dad sneeze. I can't hold back. That's what I do. I have power behind my sneeze. Don't hold in your sneezes, kids. Don't do it. All right. So we're gonna cut this into wedges. Oh, yeah, wedges. Or, yeah. Hmm. Thinking. Because we want this to be like pretty big chunks. Um. Yeah, let's do this. Do like this. It's a big tomato. Uh, cut off the little core here. Very powerful. Alright, cut the core out. I don't want it. Yeah, and if you guys also, if you have any uh, recommendations for uh, stuff in Vegas to do, um, yeah, we gotta figure out something uh, like a game plan this week. I know Classy maybe wanted to hang out. Oh, we don't want to just cut it like this, like chunk it like that. Yeah, big chunks. That's good. Big chunks. Um, it was huge tomato. Um, black, blackjack and hookers? I'll say hockey, but... Yeah, apparently they have, like, a, uh, hockey rink there. Ice hockey rink in, uh, Vegas. Yeah, good time watching the street magicians at Fremont. Big chunks. Should be good. Yeah, the Golden Knights. I don't know if that's too big. I'll find out. I'll find out, I guess, right? Alright. Wipe this down, cause it's messy. Alright, tomatoes are ready. In theory. Um, oh god, my nose is running. Hold up, hold up. Like my head. I don't have to go catch it. Uh, Alright. So we're gonna take this bread. Set, we can set the oven to like 350. Hmm. How's that steam? How's that steam? It is steam. Yeah, you might wanna let your uh, microwave vent, Gary, when you're making those uh, chicken pieces. 350 degree oven. Um. We'll get that ready, and we gotta cut this into big, like, I don't know, it's about the same size cubes as the, uh, the tomato. I wanna say we need about, so this is, I don't know how big this is actually, uh, it says this, it doesn't have a weight. So they about, they, they say about one, uh, say two and a half pounds to, of tomatoes to about Three quarter pounds of some kind of loaf of bread. Um, I'm curious. I'm just, I'm just curious. Um, how would this be? How, how, uh, this feels like about a, like almost like a pound and a half. 
It's one pound on the dot. All right, so we're gonna have this recipe. I'm just gonna use half, just make it easy. Just make it easy. Um, it, it felt like a more hefty. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just cut this bad boy in half. And get like chunks like that. They say to cut this into one and a half inch cubes. Like that. About. I'm gonna have like a weird corner, so I'm just gonna eat the corners. This is actually pretty good. It's pretty good burp. Yeah. It's good. Alright, big chunks. I think this will be enough. I feel like, maybe. They don't have to be exactly the same. Don't stress too much. I too eat my problems. I mean, I got like a weird corner, you just eat it, you know? It's alright. Season this the, the the actual tomatoes with a like, about like a teaspoon, uh, maybe a little bit less of salt, and we're gonna put this over a uh, strain so we can uh, drain all the excess moisture off, so we don't have this super mushy. Also, we can use some of the tomato juices to uh, you know need a little bit more salt. Use some of the tomato juices to make like a nice little uh, dressing. Also, that's delicious. Tomatoes are much improved with a little bit of salt. All right, so that's gonna just do its thing. Um, we're, once the oven's ready, we'll put this on a baking sheet. He's one of these small guys. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna toss the bread with some uh, olive oil. It's about like a tablespoon or so. I don't know. Drizzle it. Do what makes you happy. You know? Be a little bit generous. It'll soak up a lot of it. Um. Especially if it's like a dense bread like this, it'll be all right. Um, yeah, toss it with that that uh, olive oil. Get it all over. You don't have to put it in another bowl. The oil of the olives. It's good. And we're gonna toast this up in the oven at 350. Um, it'll take about like 15 minutes. Dry them out a little bit. basically good to go for that part of the recipe because we we can't really uh we need juice from the tomatoes that'll sit for 15. basically don't got anything left to do. Uh, let me check on the risotto. Oh, yeah, that's cold now, buddy. Alright, so also we gotta cut the cheese. <laughs> uh, we gotta cut the cheese. Looks uh, like we're good to go. This is the risotto. It's quite cold now. It looks good. Um, I'm gonna keep this just in case. And let me get that cheese really quick. It's still in the fridge. We cut the. We got about a pound. We're gonna cut only about. We don't need that much, actually. About three or four ounces of mozzarella. 
cut the cheese. <laughs> um, yeah, they say you don't really need all that, and I agree because you don't want to overstuff it, right? So I'm gonna use my scale. Or my scale it over here. Um, we're gonna measure out about. Also, yeah. Mm. yeah, that's good risotto. I like that. Very tasty. Make sure your risotto tastes good before you commit to the balling. All right. Yeah, this is fun. This is a fun little recipe. It is. It, it's a. It's a project though, cause yeah, make the risotto. Which by itself takes a little bit of time, and then you gotta go and, and form it into balls, stuff it with the cheese, you know. Um, that kind of thing. I'm not really sure how to keep this uh, good after you open it though, but let's pretend like we know what we, we are doing. Uh, so this is half that's eight ounces. Four ounces-ish. I'm gonna go like... Take a large chunk out of here. That should be about, right? Yeah, three ounces. This is a little moisture. By the way, don't make, make sure not to forget about that. That's about 2.9. I can't get better than that. That's that's three ounces, kids. Eat. All right, I'm gonna put this back in the package and put it in the Ziploc. Put it back in the fridge. Um, it's pretty good. All right, so. Put it in a little ziplock. That's close enough. This is, it's good enough. You know, this is error, error uh, for like measurement because it's not exactly the right, you know, size thing to put on that scale. It's close enough. So make sure to eat that cheese. I'm just gonna put it in Gary's omelets, I guess. Um, all right. Scooch this over, and they say to take this uh, this cheese that we got here and cut into a third of an inch pieces. Um, huh? Like, okay. So we're how many balls are we making? How many balls? How many balls? Are that's a really good question. I don't know. Uh, so they say about third inch pieces. So finger is, is one half quarter third ish. It's like, uh, like this big ish ish ish. And we're gonna take these and the th I, I, I guess I'll just make cubes. I guess I'll just make cubes out of this so I can form them. So it'll be easier to mash inside of the ball. You know, you know what I mean? I said, they said like take like two or three pieces per piece of cheese. Make, make them small, I think. This is an exact science, you know. As you could tell <laughs> by the lack of care that it's not exactly three ounces. We'll be fine. You also want to make sure the ball forms around the you know, cheese pretty well. Use your judgment. I left the fridge open, damn it. All right, okay, fridge. Calm your tits. All right, so anyway, we're gonna take this risotto. We're gonna form these into balls. I'm gonna line another baking sheet with uh, parchment paper so they don't stick, in theory. In theory. Um, we're gonna move this too, because that's hot. I don't want this in the way. All right, so actually, Oh, done. Let me get something to put between the. We put like a two layer pan, one upside down, just kind of make sure it doesn't uh, sit directly on the heat. Oh, that poor, poor pie pan. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, so 
We're gonna put this on here. I'm gonna put that on top of that. And we're gonna take some more parchment paper. Make sure it's actually parchment paper and not like wax paper, because that would be bad. Don't do that, kids. Uh, I mean, this isn't gonna be hot, but don't do this. Don't make that mistake, because you're gonna end up making a mistake when you shouldn't. All right, this is just to prevent it from sticking. All right, and what we're gonna do is take this. This is gonna be messy. <laughs> this is the part everybody's been waiting for. Um, we need to take this. Form it into patties, all right? So yeah, about a quarter cup of risotto in your hands to form a patty about two and a half inches thick diameter. Yeah. La mayo. How are you doing? Quick hi bye. As I do your sushi lunch and enjoy. All right, so quarter cup. Quarter cup. I'm gonna just eyeball about a quarter cup. Um, all right, this is a quarter cup. It's a two and a half inch diameter patty. Cause we're gonna, I mean, this is bigger than it. That's big. That's big, buddy. Patty. Patty. Uh-huh. And you take a piece of cheese at door three and you put it in the middle. Alright? Alright? And you form your ball around it. Mm-hmm. Did you just lameo me? You think I wanna spell correct so I'm perfect? No. This is a ball. It's a ball. It's good enough. It looks good. Um, we're gonna put it off to the side, and we're gonna do it again until we use up all this shit on the can. I don't. I don't know. This might make like ten. I think. I think ten's enough, right? It's, ten's good. It's a good number. Uh, deli me a cottage pie or Really? Spinach cheese one? Sounds good to me. It's very good. I bet. Size of a softball. Ooh. Let's make sure your footballs are formed well. Make sure you're not having your cheese stick out, okay? Very important. And then continue with all the risotto as you can. Um, do your best. You could use a, I don't know, ice cream scoop, but this works pretty well. It's very, it's very creamy. This is a good risotto recipe, by the way. I'd be really happy just eating this risotto while it was still hot. Um, that would be great, actually. And it will stick to your hand a little bit. Just kind of do a little push, shove in there. And make sure that there's no cheese sticking out. No cheese, please. All right, continue. I mean, I mean honestly, if the cheese kind of sticks out a little bit, it'll be okay, we're gonna freeze them. So uh, while the oil heats, uh, I probably think that'd be okay. Question mark. Um, question mark. It is messy though, wash your hands. Squish it, squish it, squish it. It's very sticky though. Ah, it's a little, it's a little sticky. Looks good. Oh, got a bunch more to go though. Maybe we should have. Uh, I know, like, uh, PJ said it a while back. 
uh, which I, I mean, people seem to be really okay with me watching bad food videos. Uh, doing like a TikTok command thing of me watching something horrible. Um, Cause Gary, Gary gets a kick out of every single time. Uh, me watching random food videos. Oh god, they, people love reaction videos. Is it true? Gary absolutely does it on purpose to uh, watch me react to random shit. Um, I don't do all that often. Maybe like once a day. Once a day seems fair. I know, those are great. That shit's funny. Should make a, a podcast with just them two riffing on shit. That'd be pretty good, in my opinion. You don't even have to like put out videos that often. Everyone, every like once in a while, I'm just feeling like, you know, I'm just gonna record this. How about that? I right. got enough to do a couple. I might have too much cheese. That's why I was like, you know, I don't think I need this much, but maybe. Also, I, I have the worst itch on my chin. I'm trying really hard. Itch it with my clean. Whatever left that's clean. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah, I mean this isn't this is pretty easy for stuffing. Uh, it seems to be pretty solid as a building material. And also it makes the worst ASMR like Yeah, I'm sure nobody wants this. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants that. Um, <laughs> PJ! Thank you for the host. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back. Watch the K video. It's like, oh god. Odious is like, no, can we not? Please. Can we not? Get my hair did. Heck yeah. Thanks. We're making uh, stuffed rice balls. Uh, basically, the risotto. And it's great. Make an emote. Would you rather have it just a crab or you in a crab hat? It's always hard to put me in a crab hat in a. in a. in a actual emote because there's a lot of detail all in one, one thing. Unless you have like a multi-part crab hat till face. Oh, can we do like one more? Maybe? Maybe, maybe I'm scrape some out here. I'm gonna make one big one. Cause I, I don't think we can make a, another one. Like it's not gonna be enough to kind of stuff. And we're making a chunky boy. Okay, we're just using whatever we got left. I'll we'll put a little bit more cheese. We can make this work. This is the creamiest risotto though, I mean. Oh, it's so good. I put like five. We can't put it all. As, as much as you want to, we can't actually stuff it all together because I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. All right, so. That is cheese. Mother. You can't have anything peeking because it's, it's got a chance to leak out. And nobody likes a freaking mozzarella stick or whatever. And it's it's peeking out and it's all empty inside. Nobody wants this. All right, so I'm gonna put this uh, in the freezer. Put it in this freezer while we heat up the oil. And we're almost done. By the way, it is almost 3.30. Uh, looks like the oven is ready. We got 15 minutes to wait for probably the rice, uh, the the, uh, the oven to bake the, the bread that we haven't put in yet. Um, the tomatoes are probably all right, but it's okay, like, we're giving it more time. 
and then we'll heat up the oil. That should take about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. It'll, it'll kind of just kind of work out all at the same time. Um, in the meantime, while the oil is going to heat, we're going to make the Dijon mustard uh, dressing for the... for the uh, salad, which I think is gonna be really good. Um, the oven's ready for the just bread. All right, that looks good. All right, I am going to wash my hands because it's a hot mess. It's very, very sticky. All right, so we're gonna stuff these back in the freezer. Just have them so they're nice and cold because we need these to stay together in bulk. They're already cooked. Everything's cooked already, and that is just, you know, I don't want them to fall apart. All right, all right. Hopefully, we can fit this and not crush them. It looks okay, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It's like slightly too high, so I'm gonna have to take some shit out of here. All right, gonna shoot that over a little bit. Oh, that looks better. Is it going to touch? We're good. All right. We're fine. All right. So Dong Diggity wants to get the gift towel. Um, we're going to take this bread that we just tossed in a little bit of olive oil in the oven. Just It's going to be part of the salad. We got chopped up tomatoes, just doing tomato stuff. AK draining. Uh, we put this in here. Put the timer on, I don't know, 15 minutes. Seems fair. And timer's set. Uh, question is ask, the, enter the call with thank you. And I said, no problem, have a good day. And they pause for a second. They're like, what is this? What, are, what is going on? So let's get the walk out. Oh, we wait. Get the oil lubed up here. And this is the exciting part, the part everybody has been waiting for. We got the flour, the breadcrumbs, and the egg just hanging out over here, ready to go. At our regin station. We're gonna start with the uh, flour first, then egg, then then breadcrumbs. We're gonna add about six uh, cups of oil to our wok over here. And I guess we we'll should get a uh, another bacon sheet with a uh, rack down so I can kind of drain it slash uh, let it sit on the pig towel. Got some new oil. Should be nice. Very nice. Uh, this looks like some used oil, but it doesn't look bad to me. Leaves that. I always strain my oil and try to save it. Uh, especially if it's just like vegetables and shit. Like, who cares? Oil's usually fine. It's it's quite moist. Uh, it's supposed to be raining today, odious. I don't want to fall out I don't want the rain. It's, it's been like, it was super, like, just dark all day. It's like, it was saying like it's gonna be shit weather and thunderstorms. Um, but for some reason that never happened. So I'm like, well, shit. So we need exactly mm -hmm. we need two inches of oil. Um, we needed to be high enough that the Balls will meet like halfway up the side. In theory. Alright, let's use my thingy. By the way, this is not oil. oil. Fine. My dipstick says it's about an inch and a half. Um, <laughs> my dipstick. Kiwis take us a little better when they're like just right bananas. Be 
zero moisture. That's how you get rid of it. Truth. Right, so this burner doesn't want to light lately. Let me uh, scooch the vent on. And some airflow. Come on. All right, let me get my, scooch that over a little bit. There you go, medium. All right, so that's good to go. I'm gonna turn the fan off so I can get everything going. And reheat that on medium till it's about 350 degrees in the oil temperature. And in the meantime, we're gonna get together the dressing for the actual salad. Which I just can't eat rice balls. It's way too, it's, there's no vegetable. It's fine. Um, so the salad we need, if I'm having this, we need about one half of a shallot minced, or you can grate it too. Add the vegetable. Also, we could eat like some broccolini too. I do have some broccoli. Bad, this looks like a bad shallot. Very, very likely. Bad shallot. Away! I don't keep getting bad shallots. Add vegetable in rice ball? I mean, you could. You could. I don't have the. I don't, I don't have enough spinach. Like, if I put the, in the rice ball. And we're gonna use about. He just sucks all the moisture around his surroundings. Should kidnap him and start like a mold removal. You know, that reminds me. So we had a a bunch of like leaks in our uh, house, and eventually we found out there's water coming from the patio on the inside. And uh, they put all this like fans and dehumidifiers, and they never came back to get them. They just left it. They never came back. It doesn't have any like name on its side or anything. And we're like, uh, we kept it. I mean, just in case we ever have a, a leak again, we get, we're, we're in, we're in the, uh, we're gonna be fine. If we have a leak, it's not a problem. That's for sure. We got all the technology we could ever want. It, it kind of looks like one of those like cute little octopus things. Uh, very cute. We're gonna just mince it up real small. By the way, uh, today we're gonna play more of that uh, Cult of the Lamb, and hopefully it gets better with the uh, integration. Because uh, everybody has problems, and uh, it just seems like a pain in the ass. They really hyped up that integration stuff and it doesn't really work still. But maybe I've heard this are also a lot of bugs with like certain items don't drop and it's just kind of a mess it looks like. Alright so we got the shallot. Oh you should move it over here so you could see what I'm doing. Uh, so we got the minced up shallot uh, uh, some garlic minced uh, some Dijon mustard white vinegar salt and pepper, I, and we have basil outside. I'll, I'll go during during a little break, and we'll go outside and grab the basil real quick. It shouldn't take me long. I just gotta go outside and grab it. I just don't have it because I forgot to get it. I didn't go outside today because it's been like looking like it's gonna rain all day. So I was like, well, shit. So I didn't go outside. So we're gonna add the shallot. We're gonna add the garlic. And the mustard and the vinegar. And we're gonna have to squeeze out those tomatoes so they're ready to go that we can add it to the mixture. We're basically using the tomatoes to make dressing, which is sweet. Rather than waste the, you know, the juices. It's good juice. I need to grab my garlic. Use 
has uh, two cloves. I think two is fair. I don't like garlic. Just don't, don't make your garlic charcoal, kids. Whatever you do. So, wait. So, Luger, Rob was saying that he wanted to make an OnlyFans. I mean, that just seems like counterproductive to the whole OnlyFans uh, plan here, buddy. Hey. I mean, I mean, maybe some people are into that. Maybe they have a problem and the, the solution is right. Right, the pop problem solver. Alright, so we have about a quarter teaspoon of the Dijon Fancy Pants mustard. Um, Photoshop them on more leather daddy stuff. <laughs> Those Photoshop are pretty great. Uh, I do declare. Pretty, pretty great. Um, mainly Zoe. Yeah, have you not seen it, Fire Drake? I mean, are you on, on in Rob's Discord? You should get in there. Oh, there's, there's something going on in there. That's for sure. Something. Oh god, am I? Are you? I can fix that. Alright, so we're gonna whisk this together and then we're going to check the oil temperature. Actually, maybe we should check the oil temperature now and then whisk in the vinegar. Let's all that stuff together. I don't think I am. I don't know. I don't know it's about uh, 200 degrees. We got some time. I might go run for a quick potty break. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of liquids. Got about uh, four and a half minutes. I'm gonna run to the bathroom really quick. Um, in a moment, we're gonna go to the intermission screen. I gotta go pee, so we'll be back in a moment. Don't mind me. I'll be back in a second. It's like imagine if only I could manage to, to time, time it right so it goes into my mouth, but it won't happen. Look at Gary's hands. It won't focus. Gary, it's, it's too close. I'm taking a right. Let's go. Let's go in the car. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> what the heck? You can't deal. Oh god, no! <laughs> I got crushed to death. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they were with the, the the taxi gang. Gang was with the cops all along. The, the bastards. <laughs> but the exit can't save me. I want to hear lobster. Ow, ow, oh shit. Jesus. Still give me the knuckles, man. That hurts. The knuckles are sensitive. You got me the knuckles again. What the fuck, Gary? Stop being so good at weird things like nerfing. Yeah, Gary, stop being weird. Let's go over here to the chat and cam. My cute little baby is watching you. Judging you. But hey, let's go to the counter. Oh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. We're all okay. Take care of business. Um, we're back. We have made the arasini. Uh, we're about to fry. We're waiting for the oil to get, um, you know, hot enough to fry. And we're waiting about two more minutes for the bread. Ooh, it looks lovely. All right, look a little toasty. Um, 
not browned. Bullshit. It is browning. They say it's not brown, but I'm like, why wouldn't you want it to brown, to be honest? I mean, isn't that more better? Uh, Alright, so let me just, uh, it's like light, light golden. I'm gonna toss it around a little bit. What's beautiful? Alright, back in she goes. Alright. 10 out of 10, what cat again? It's a cute cat. Um... So, we're waiting for the oil to get hot. It's about like 250 by now, probably. The only thing we can kind of do is to gather the juices from the tomatoes. Or I think, let me just uh, got the tomatoes over here that we let uh, coat with a little bit of salt. And they say. I got my balls stuck in my. Oh, a straw. Damn it. I'm gonna choke to death on it. Um, alright, over here. Anyway. Place the colander with tomatoes in the sink. I mean, you probably should get some of the juices off here. Also, I feel like the tomato piece is too big, but that's just me. That's my opinion. I'm gonna drip off them juices as much as I can. That's bite bite! Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Alright, so let me just uh, pull this off here. The, the bread is toasted and, and not really brown so much. It's kind of just, you know dried out so that the uh, it's not gonna like be absolutely like soggy okay looks good all right so anyway um we gotta get some basil leaves in a little bit later uh we're gonna add all this juice from the tomatoes right because we didn't add any salt we're gonna have the, the tomato juice and whisk this together and that's basically dump. Um, the dressing, that is. Uh, I gotta go outside to get the, uh, the basil, but I'll probably just do that right before... Hmm. That's good. Um, we'll do that right before I eat. And I have to make the... I don't know. I'm, you know what? I have tomato sauce in the fridge. I almost want to like skip making that pepper sauce because I'm like, I already have sauce. We have sauce at home that Gary didn't eat. Um, remember that? Remember Gary didn't bother to eat the sauce? I remember. Um, It's still good. It's a little chunky, um, but yeah, it's, it's all it's all right. It's all right. He's a, he, yeah. I w I don't like to keep. I mean, I would have to toss it eventually. I think, right? I can't do that. The poor thing. I didn't. I need. I need a boba, like straw. That my balls keep getting stuck in it. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna suck too hard and I'm just gonna choke on it. I'd like not to die on the street. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. Anyway, I'm looking at um the boba chug. Um somebody tried to got somebody got into Rod's Discord? What? Oh, did did I wonder if Rod like um freaking scanned one of those QR codes to let him log into some? Come on, Rod, you should know better. 
But yeah, like he probably scanned like a QR code, whatever that shouldn't have. Don't scan QR codes, especially for Discord. There's so many like, so much bullshit out there. Oh, yeah, Joe Town. Okay. All right. So let's do a joke. Uh, I saw his messages like, nope. This isn't very good. I don't think I want this account. Um, I bet I know for sure that a lot of um, quote unquote hackers are look for big Discord servers that they can get admin access. So they can basically take it over and, and just like essentially uh, use it for like more scams and shit. I've seen that before. Um. Hmm. Don't deep joke. Okay. Here we go. Go deep. How do you ask to pass a dish at the spaghetti dinner party? Pasta sauce, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's check this a little time. We really need to get about 350 right now or about 225 so we're almost there buddy um let me get a paper towels we can uh put these cooked arasini in i don't know arasini i don't know what the fuck telly was on this morning um typing out whatever ah it's fine it's all right um Almost there. So anyway. Turn that oven off. You don't need it no more. We're almost done. Well, actually, all in time. Even on recipe that kind of we need to... We had to wait a bit for stuff to get done. You know? Can't, re can't really speed up the process. Mm-hmm. Alright, scrolling through. See if there's anything going on. So good. Doop, 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 doop. Oh my god, that cat picture is so freaking cute. I love my baby. Um. Why are the balls green? Balls are green. Anyway, um, they say to cook this until golden brown on all sides. Should take about, I don't know, five minutes, maybe eight. I don't know. Uh, we'll just kind of have to figure out. Also, my watch is like, oh god, stretch. Oh god, yeah. Oh man. So, anyway, we heat. Now the oil is probably hot enough by now. Remember to cook the rice until it's crunchy like sand. So much texture. Mmm, yes. I love- I know I am all about texture. Buddy. Uh, also, I, I prefer- if, if I have a choice, uh, my go-to frying vessel is 100% the walk unless I need deep 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 um you know 
containers to fry things in. Because it's gonna be big. Oh no, it's fine. Alright, so where? I don't know where my. Oh, there it is. I found it. Never mind. We're all good to go. Got our handed in tool for our ball handling. Um, let me grab my Arsini out of here. And. Oh, it's, it's nice and cool. All right. So we're gonna coat this in, uh, ooh, cold, it's frosty. Um, yeah. We froze our balls for at least 10 minutes, that's for sure. All right, so we're gonna go very carefully. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. We're gonna take the ball one at a time and we're gonna put it in the flour and we're gonna put it in the uh, egg and the breadcrumbs. And uh, it's ready to go. Normally, you would have to chill the balls before you eat the oil, but I'm doing this in this order because it seems to work better. I'll f find out how this is working. This is frozen a little bit on the bottom, which is fine. All right, so we're gonna put it in the, the flour first. Get it nice and coated. All right, give that a little whisk real quick. All right. And then, we're gonna take that dredge off a little bit. And uh, yeah, the bottom got a little flat. That's okay, it's, a, it's all right. You know, it has a good station for, uh, you know, sitting on something. It's alright. Wing wing on my boat. Alright, and then I'm gonna let that egg drip. And the voice changer is over. Back to normal. Let that drip drip. Alright. Um and then we're gonna put the balls in the breadcrumbs and kinda roll it around to coat it. It's really straightforward. Straightforward. All right. Make sure it's nice and coated. More the better, honestly. And then we're gonna put that down. Hey, doggy, are you ready for the balls? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got my things stuck uh, back where they should be. All right. So I'm gonna put that very carefully in the oil. And away she go. Cook that ball. All right. And we'll uh, get the rest of them ready. They're not gonna be all ready at the same time, which is fine, honestly. All right, and uh, yeah, it's gotta cook for at least five minutes, up to eight. We'll probably have to rotate that ball around a little bit so that, uh, you know, it's evenly cooking. Yeah, kinda get the ball, move it from the flour, a little tossy-tossy, make sure that the coating comes off as much as possible, roll it around in the egg. Let it drip. Uh, drip. And then I'm gonna coat that with the uh, breadcrumbs. Get it all coated and then put it back in there. I'm gonna go and stir this around a little bit. Oh, it looks good. Find out if it is any good. Alright, looks good. Round two. And we're gonna check the temperature where it's at right now. Just to see if it's keeping temperature, if it's getting cold. We'll see real quick. Check out my balls! Alright. Looking good. It doesn't look like it's falling apart yet, which is positive. Uh, right now it's about 350, 60, so we might want to turn even down a smidge. Um, I don't know exactly how long. I'm just gonna go by feel. Okay, I'm not gonna grab my hands. I got balls. What good looking balls. Maybe a little bit more. And we'll keep making balls and assemble them together. And roll it around the flour. Easy peasy. And if you want to be really particular about it, you can also take the flour and cool it too, along with the eggs and everything. 
fondle your balls, roll around in the egg, the, the drip, drip the egg off as much as possible, roll it around in the breadcrumbs. Don't breadcrumb your hands. Use a wet hand, dry hand method. It works really good. All right, get a little toss tossy so that all the excess comes off and drop it in there like so. He's beefy. Ever seen me. All right, that looks good. Nice and deep golden brown there. It's gonna darken a little bit, but that looks good. Away we go. All right. Kind of keep an eye on them. That looks good. All right. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Just keep making balls until you use them all. Also, don't send your balls on the floor. Because that's a bad time for everyone involved. Are we wet hand or the dry hand? I'm not sure. Are you the wet hand or the dry hand, chat? Dry hand. Bear says dry hand. And looks like a good looking bow. Balls are touch. Make sure your balls don't touch. My my hands are sweaty. <laughs> some of you guys need to use some moisturizers. That's what I say. God damn. Gotta keep an eye on. Seems like the, uh, the time is perfect for making the ball. Making the balls. And putting the balls out. It seems to be perfectly timmed. Which is good with me. Um. Have your balls touch. If they get too close, it causes some problems. Well, Michigan man was arrested for putting cherry pies and other items under women's cars to watch them bend over. You dirty, dirty bird. Bribe them with pies. Creepy. That guy's been in my chat before. I know, right? Lettuce? Lettuce guy? Who keeps taking my lettuce out? I mean, are they good pies though? Or, or did they, they, they keep the pie? The real question is did the ladies eat the pie? Uh. Cause I'd be, I mean, I don't know if I would eat some random pie off the street, but you know. You know what I mean? I'd be tempted. That one might be almost done. Um, don't eat that pie. I mean, I'd show them my ass to get free pie. I mean, they're specifically, were they, yeah, were they all specifically cherry pies or we got some blueberry pies? Um, was he playing music in the background while watching them pick up the pie? The questions. I know, I know that's what I was like, Frederick. Are they listening to cherry? She's my cherry pie in the background while watching. Uh, maybe the cherry pies were on sale. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, 
maybe they were just throwing away cherry pies in the back. There was in a dump. Oh, it's dumpster pie. Oh no. Oh no. I'm very sorry. Don't eat the dumpster pie. Okay, let's pull that one. That one's good. Crispy. Crispy boy. All right, Yeah, still more to go. <laughs> oh God, what is it like? Oh God, what were they? The cherry pies that were like the, the shitty like super like icing cover like. I but they're really good though. They do hit the spot. They're not shit. They're 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 a dollar, okay? They're dollar pies. They're less than a dollar pies. I don't know if they're 69 cents, but hit <laughs> nice. Um, nice. Little Debbie pies, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say no. Say no to free pies, but not those pies, please. I will skip the pie. I would say no. Yeah, I would say no to the pies left next to my car, but you know. <gasps> yeah, those do. Those lemon pies are great. This is the chonker, by the way. This is the the big, the big boy. The leftover big boy chonker. I'll be skedaddling. Yeah, imagine just like, I'm seeing just a pie laying next to your car. You'd be like, you have a lot of questions. Of why, where, who, who put this pie here? Why is there a pie? Somebody watching me. Is Lettuce Man around? I don't know. This is the chonker. This is the chunk, boy. Also, it is. I got my steps in, boys. Yeah. There you go, buddy. I got my steps. Might have to raise the temperature a little bit. Might might have gone down a little. All right. Time is a little different. All right, that's done. Look at my routine. I'm excited to eat it. Also, I have all this leftover sauce. Oh, Gary, I swear to God. If you're like, where's the sauce? I'm gonna put it on the fucking stove. Okay? It's gonna be warm. I, I'm gonna put a sign that says sauce. I should I should lead out a sign for Gary. It's like, don't forget the sauce. Um, I don't know how much, how much more I could do. Yeah, I was gonna make the pepper sauce. I, I do have everything to make it, but I was like, I have a story. Bear has a story. Um, I wanna hear it. I like bear's stories, it's always fun. Things I have found outside. My bear. Also, um, we never did. Did you guys start the poll on wet hand or dry hand? Are you who are you, the dry hand or the wet hand? Um, in what situation? In general, I think it was like a general question for chat because uh, Fire Drake submitted that. Like, which hand are you? Day before yesterday, I was at work and decided to go outside for a smoke break. Walk out of the main entrance, and right by the door standing next to the column was an old guy pissing. Oh no. But why? Old man? Old oh, man. No, oh, I'm, I'm a little concerned that that one's gonna break. Old oh, man? What are you doing? Is that Greg? It better not be old Greg. Um, by the way, if you like to check this bad boy out, oh, that looks good. I'm looking forward to these. 
All right, so I got flashed old man wiener. Oh no, I'm sorry. All right, so we got the leftover tomatoes, by the way. This is what I was gonna have in a salad. Uh, hand style, wet hand or dry hand? What is your style? Covered in Dorito cheese is also a valid um, answer. Mars may or may not be eating Doritos. Maybe. You never know. It's a raid! We got a raid here! Mega Miles! Thank you for that raid. We got heckin' raiders! Blamey, um, got the Kaz. Hello. Welcome you guys to the day's trim is We're finishing up the last bit of the air seas. Um, oh yeah. This one's a big chonker. This might take a little while. We got some leakage. Ooh, we got some leakage. On them. A little bit. Welcome you guys. Quack, quack. Uh, hello. What have you been doing today? Do it. Oh, I'm gonna be playing Cult Lamb in a little bit. Uh, we usually do a cooking and gaming cast. It's a good time. Uh, if you wanna check out the dinner come in. You can see what we're making, baby. Also, yeah, chat, it's a question. Uh, for generally, chat. Um, are you the wet hand or are you the dry hand? Because <laughs> that was the more important questions that chat's asking today. Hey, real and welcome. You are the point zero zero one percent of people that actually read the rules. Com enjoy your complimentary baguette. Enjoy. Did you cowbell? Yep. Hey, Peta. Bread. Also got bread on the counter too as well. Uh, we just got a couple little, uh, got this big one to make. Let me see, I've definitely went in. Who's to say that she didn't get her own sun chips and our Doritos, okay? Come on. This is the big chunker that I used most of the leftover cheese in. I was like, I, I have all this extra. I can't let me really make two, so we're making one big one. Me big one. But if your, your stream went well, cult of lamb. I mean, what if, if Mars actually has her own Doritos? You can't just assume that Mars steals everything. I'm just saying. Um. <laughs> Uh, I played it on Friday or Thursday and it was a hot mess. If nothing worked and we tried hard to, to get that uh, extension working. It wasn't a good time. <laughs> but I, I, I've been enjoying it. Uh, I was a little concerned about the, the uh, how fresh and sparkly it will keep being and uh, when I'm playing it. But it's been enjoyable. All right. Got a little bit of crack on the edge, which is okay. I, I wasn't expecting this one to be perfect. I wasn't expecting it to be perfect, but it, it'll do. All right, I'm gonna plop that bad boy. Very intense. And when, yeah, you win three in a, you won two in, two in a row, but you weren't best of three. Uh, there's, uh, I know there's a couple bugs with uh, the game. Um, I'll call you Miles. It'd be probably easier. Um, I don't know many miles. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh... That was a good. I got some leftover, uh, marinara from last Thursday. Uh, so we're gonna use that. That like Gary didn't eat. <clears throat> I swear to God, I should leave him a note. <laughs> There's this where the sauce is. Um, we got some toasted bread. And the tomatoes, and also we got a little bit of like a Dijon. I'm gonna probably add a little bit more um, mustard. We're gonna toss this all together. Got a little bit left over uh, tomato juices that we, we drain the tomatoes, we salted them, and then uh, let them drain and use that juice to make like a vinaigrette kinda. Which I like that idea. It's quite good. Uh, the only thing we gotta do. Mars, can you hold down the stream for like uh, two or three minutes? I gotta run outside. I gotta go grab some basil. I was gonna do that this morning. Um, I was gonna do this this morning, but I didn't have time and it was raining, so I think it's not raining. You think you got this? 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check if it's read if it's dumping. Uh, we're gonna take the hat off, probably. Hey, baby, you San Antonio. Hello. But but welcome to the stream, Mega Miles and Ray Is. Gotta unfortunately run outside for a sec. It looks okay. And the door is closed because nobody did the lawn. <laughs> Whoever keeps doing our lawn, they keep forgetting to close the uh, a gate outside. And I'm always worried the cats are gonna run out. Um, my stream. No promises the air scene will be there by the time we get back. It's, it's okay. By the way, uh, uh, yo, chat, can, can you introduce our stream to these new people that don't know me at all, probably? I don't know, if maybe you found me through a recommendation? Maybe. Um, <laughs> um, but I'm sure. Oh shit! I need to. I'm 